What's going on YouTube? Getting ready to head to the gym for my Friday heavy squat bench deadlift workout. Same uh, workout as I did last week. Same weights, same intensity. One extra set for each exercise, so it'll be uh, increased volume on squat bench and deadlift. Yeah, that's just kind of what my program is doing right now. I started my prep eight weeks out, so this is the second week. I have one more week, so that three week block, I am just kind of linearly, linearly, linearly increasing the volume week to week. I'm just adding a set every week and keeping the loads the same. And then five weeks out, I'm going to start my kind of peak. That'll have like kind of higher volume to start, and then taper the volume off and increase the intensity. So I'll be hitting some singles and everything leading up to the meet, getting prepared for the test on meet day, hitting singles. So if you want to hit singles then on the meet day, you should probably do some singles leading up so you're ready. But anyways, kind of on a related note, um, by the time this video goes up, animusapparelco.com should have a new page for coaching. So that'll be my coaching. If you are interested, you can check that out. The application is there and everything else you need to know is should be on that page. I'm still working on getting everything like piled together, compiled, and neatly organized and understandable all that. But that should be good to go. If it's not, it'll be up very soon. So you can check my Instagram page. I'll put something up on there or Anna's Apparel Instagram page. Those are all links are in the description, link to the website in the description. So but now Gonna check my weight, make sure I'm staying somewhat on track for uh, my meet in six weeks, I guess it is now. Six weeks it will be this weekend, so check my weight. Alright, so 150.8, basically 151, pretty much right where I want to be. This morning I've been up for like several hours already snacking, eating, drinking water, getting ready for the gym today. So if I had to guess, and that was with all my clothes on, the GoPro, if I had to guess my morning weight, which would be what I weigh in at the meet, it would probably be like 148 or 9 this morning. So that's pretty much right where I want to be. I want to stay right around 150 and then water cut like 5 pounds to get down to my weight class. So being right at 151 today, waking up probably a little below 150, it's probably where I want to be, so let's head to the gym. Just remembered on my way here I need to go check on this pass because it expires August 6th and school starts August 13th and I have a pass for the fall and this is a pass for the summer so I don't know if there's like a week gap in between but I'm not trying to pay for parking when I already paid for parking with my permit so gotta go figure that out and then the gym so that was easy. They were already giving out passes, and apparently I don't even need a pass because they converted it to license plate reading. You read your license plate. So I just do my thing, and hopefully they don't try to charge me. But oh well. To the gym. Last warm up here, 275 for a single. Last warm up, 275 went good. First set, 300 here.
they all moved about the same. That is, uh, I've already warmed up on bench, about to hit my first set. 2.30, with <laughs> JK Films, bro. <laughs> after my workout but um, I kind of recap squat and bench in the video squats felt pretty good today bench felt a little slow but it was fine that's just kind of a uh, fatigue accumulation it's feeling a little slow looks pretty good so that's pretty much where I should be right where you should be uh, right before you start tapering back some volume and peaking for the meat so that's pretty normal at this point in my training deadlifts uh, if you saw in that clip I did complete resets today uh, instead of like a soft touch uh, let the weight dissipate kind of like an Ed Cone style deadlift if you know what that is and that's what I normally do the complete reset it kind of threw me off it was just uh, the bracing was a little different having to re-brace and everything and on that first set uh, that I that was in the video I didn't really do that so great, it felt like I was going to throw up on like the third rep because I just kind of got lazy bra bracing after the first two, and then the fourth one I, I was fine on that one, but last two sets there, um, my, the bar was catching on my thighs, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to need to start bringing in some baby powder or something to prevent that from happening, happening because you don't want that to be like a limiting factor. If you're not going to have sticky thighs in the meat, why would you train with sticky thighs? So, just going to kind of eliminate that variable from here on out, and everything should go good. After that, just did some Rubish style hyper extensions with the barbell. Used 185, it felt pretty good today. Put that up on my Instagram, so if you want to see that, that's up there. And then just did some core work and called it a day. So, we're back here now, all finished up. One more hypertrophy day training this week and then start my last day of this kind of linear progression before I start manipulating my training for the peak. But like I said earlier, be on the lookout for animusapparelco.com, that new page for my coaching, and con contact me if you have any inquiries or anything about coaching, any questions that aren't answered on the application or the page I'm putting up. Um, it should be pretty pretty comprehensive, but if not, if something you don't feel is answered or whatever, feel free to contact me. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.